Jean-Baptiste Racine was a French playwright during the 17th century, according to the Phaedra Myth in France by Ru Ruth Mulhauser. He lived an unusual life in which he became educated, rebelled against his family and religion, lived in sin, and then returned to his religion to start his own family. Racine is known for focusing on the human desire for perfection and using fate to outline his tragedies. During his time period, love became the most popular topic for conversation that, along with the classical dramatic system, is what Racine based his plays on. His choice of characters comes from Greek, Latin, and Italian backgrounds, and he usually includes characters that boil with desire until they reach their breaking points and cannot take their desires anymore, as is stated in the French Review from the JSTOR. Jean Racine was a genius tragedian who had the privilege of experiencing many extremes throughout his life, including love, hate, religious, secular, ignorant, accomplished, poor, and well-off, and all of his experiences are reflected in his plays. Jean Racine was born in La Ferté, Milan, France in 1639. His mother died when he was 13 years old and his father died two years later. According to the French Review, he was raised by his grandmother, Mary Desmolins, who came from a family of Jansenist Catholics. The American Repertory Theater's website claims that Jansenists were members of a counter-reformation Catholic sect that denied free will and stressed the necessity of grace for salvation. They also believe that God picks heaven or hell for the destiny of each person when they are born, and no matter how the life is lived, they cannot change the mind of God, but they can earn God's grace and live in eternal happiness as is specified in the coming study guide website. The study guide also declares that Cornelius Otto Jansen, who lived from 1585 to 1638, and who was a Flemish theologian, and Jean Duvier de Haran, who lived from 1581 to 1643, and was a French theologian, both founded Jansenism in the 17th century after studying St. Augustine and Flemish theologian Michael Biaz. According to classic authors, an informational website, Jean and his grandmother lived in the Jansenist town Port Royal, where he studied at Bayavis from 1649 until 1653. There he learned to write in French and Latin and studied Greek drama. At the age of 19, in 1658, Racine went to College de Harcourt in Paris and became friends with playwright Moliere, the poet La Fontaine, and the poet-critic Beaulieu. While the stage had become the favorite pastime of society and the court public morals and the church condemned it, comedians were even refused church burial, as stated in the French Review. He enjoyed his life, consisting of women and wine, much better than he had experienced in Port, Port Royal. Jean Racine completed many works in his lifetime, and there is ample information on all of his works on the websites American Repertory Theater and Classic Authors. In 1660, Racine wrote a sonnet for King Louis XIV for his marriage to Mary Therese of Spain. In the same year, he wrote his first play, Amasi, which was rejected by the Theatre Marais and later lost. In 1694, his tragedy, called The Thebans, was performed by Moliere's theatre company, Illustre Theatre. His next tragedy, Alexander the Great, caused him to lose his friendship with Moliere. He let Moliere's company perform his play, but he also sold it to the rival company, Hotel de Bourgogne who played it at the same time. In 1666, Racine completely broke from his Jansenist when he attacked his formal teachers at Port Royal through a letter, which was in response to a pamphlet they published stating novelists and dra dramatists as public poisoners. After that, it seemed as though a weight was lifted off his shoulders and he began producing good plays at a fast rate. 
The French Review discusses the fact that before Racine, the playwright Corneille was the most popular, but Racine overtook his popularity instantly in 1667 with his French classical stage and with his tragedy Andromaque. From 1668 to 1673, Jean Racine finished the tragedies Les Pladeurs, Britannicus, Berenice, by Jazé, and Mithridate, dated in Karl Vossler's book entitled Jean Racine. Before retiring, he wrote his last professional play in 1677 called Phaedra. The only other plays he would write were the biblical tragedies Esther and Athalia, and he only wrote them because he was persuaded to do so by Madame de Maintenon, Louis XIV's consort. Racine had many love affairs throughout his life, which affected his plays. When he produced his play Andrew Mock in 1667, the actress Marquise Dubarc became his mistress until her death one year later, as is portrayed in the American Repertory Theater. Jean Racine's next affair was with Molière's actress La Champ Mazel in 1670. He became attracted to her during her role of Hermoine, and he later offered her the roles of Bernice, Roxanne, Monime, Iphigenie, and Phaedra, which she accepted, angering Molière, which is written in the French Review. Racine shared her five with her five other men, which continued until he retired from the stage. After retiring in 1677, Classic author states that Racine converted back to Jansenism and became the royal histographer for King Louis XIV. When Louis XIV had insomnia, he read to him at night. In 1679, he became a suspect in Duparc's murder. Duparc's stepmother and daughters all told police that Racine poisoned her, but he was never charged with her mur murder. In 1691, Racine married Catherine de Romanet. Together, they raised their seven children as strict Jansenists, who never were to set foot in the theater, and some of his five girls became nuns. Further reading on Jean Racine's love life can be found on the website of the American Repertory Theater. Jean Baptist Racine died in 1699 from cancer of the liver and was buried in Port Royal as per the French Review. In the American Repertory Theater website, it is said that his eulogy went, quote, He had been brought up in these precincts with other persons who were pursuing their studies here, and having been obliged to depart hence, he followed for some time the ways of the world. But God showed him his grace by renewing in his spirit the light of truth which had been darkened there, and by awakening in his heart the sentiments of piety. He had much affection for this monastery, and he has given us proof of his zeal, having used his influence to protect us." End quote. France went through per three periods of drama, medieval, classical, and romantic. The medieval drama broke down during the Reformation. In 1548, Francis I declared mystery plays no longer legal. According to the French Review, classical tragedies came about in the 16th century from adaptions of Greek, Latin, and Italian plays, which were presented in either the original or in French. For the French, the time period from 1661 to 1685 was a period of classicism, which was also the reign of King Louis XIV. Louis XIV, in the French Review, founded academics, schools of music, science and arts, and he built Versailles. He had no toleration for political and religious rebels, but he had a hard time defeating the Jansenists and as they fought the Pope and the Jesuits using the work of St. Augustine. It is said that French art, the French language, and French etiquette and refinement owe largely to Louis XIV their reputation and prestige. Racine's tragedies, as a result, were classical and most likely influenced by his Jansenist background. Jean Racine's Phaedra, his last professional play, was an idea taken from Euripides' 
Vieja. He made some differences, which makes the play his own. One change is that he made the nurse accuse Hippolytus of a desire for incest with Phaedra rather than incest itself. Another is he used Phaedra instead of Artemis to free Hippolytus of any wrongdoing after his death at the end of the play, which is in agreement with the Phaedra myth in France. In Euripides' Phaedra, Hippolytus has no weaknesses. However, however, in Racine's Phaedra, he has the weakness of his love for Aresia, the daughter of the enemy of his father. He did this to make the plot more believable to a French audience. Phaedra takes place in one town and in one day. It is very compact and there are no wasted words or conversations. The Coming Study Guide shares that the setting is the royal court in Trozen, a town in southern Greece on a large peninsula called Peloponnesus. Phaedra is the wife of Theseus, king of Athens. Usually, the royal family would live in Athens, but they are temporarily staying in Troezen, Theseus' birthplace, because Theseus recently killed political enemies in Athens. The setting of the actual play is only lightly decorated, so that more was open to the imagination. And so there was less to take attention away from the tragedy. The French Review goes over the interesting fact that his plays included violence and death, but they never shed blood on stage. The French Review also mentions that the actresses wore cons costumes that showed no skin. Instead, they used accessories like fans and embroidered handkerchiefs to look beautiful. Male actors wore habit a la Romaine, which is a blend of antique and modern costume. Racine's goal was therefore to reveal human passion through action, not costumes and stage props. The play Phaedra is easy to understand as long as the mythological background is aware of. It would have been very easy for French people of the time to understand the play's mythological references because they usually studied Greek mythology. Scholars in the Coming Study Guide argue that the protagonist in this play is Phaedra and the antagonists are Phaedra's uncontrollable passion, fate, and Venus. Phaedra is a hero because she finally told the truth even though everything inside told her not to. Her passion, the fate, and Venus are the antagonists because together they brought an end to Phaedra. The climax occurs when Phaedra tells Hippolytus that she loves him. The theme of Phaedra is incest because that is what causes Phaedra's conflict. It can also be argued that the theme of Phaedra is love. Every type of love portrayed in the play goes wrong except for the friendship between Hippolytus and Theramenes and between Aresia and Ismene. There is perverted love that Phaedra feels for her stepson. There is romantic love between Hippolytus and Aresia. And there is familial love between Hippolytus and his father. The coming study guide mentions these types of love in the play. Phaedra is in conflict with herself and society as she is dying because she is sick with the unlawful passion for her stepson, Hippolytus. No matter what she does, she cannot get him out of her mind. She even tries banishing him and treating him in any harsh way she can. Avoidance has been her main tool until she is near to death due to her passion. Phaedra is foolish for following Oenid's plan of lies because it only made things worse. If she had not done so, she would have learned that Hippolytus had no intention of telling his father of her incest thoughts, and no one would have died. Instead, according to the coming study guide, she chose to share her tragedy with everyone, as Oenine, Hippolytus, and herself all die. Theseus is left with no son, and Aresia is left with no future husband. All the themes and conflicts in Phaedra reflect Jean Racine's life experiences and lessons.